how to identify someone's element. Hello everyone, my name is Viper and welcome to a new video on my channel. In this new video, I'm going to teach you how to identify someone's element just by looking at the char bar. I feel like this is a really cool idea because I've, some people asked me, Viper, how do you discover that he's playing this element before he even played this turn? And I think that's a good flex that you can show your friends. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get right into the video. The fire element. The fire build can be described in three points. It's a build that has kind of medium locked, uh, which means your lock will go between 50, 70, 60. Uh, it's either neither super high like agility or super low like the strength mode that we will see later. And uh, you will always have not a lot of fire res unless you use uh, some items to boost it because the fire path don't usually have items that can give you a lot of fire resistances. Uh, another thing that the fire uh, builds can uh, show and you can realize is that they have a lot of vitality. Normally the HP on the fire builds go over the 4.5k HP and that was also a, a good sign to help you realize what set they are playing even if you don't have another inputs. Uh, as you can see on the screen, there's the, the screenshot of this panda and as you can see, like I told you, he has 31% fire, which is the lowest, and he has 50 lock, which is in the medium uh, range, like I, like I said. And another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that the fire rest doesn't usually have a lot of neutral rest, as you can see here, 18%, and there is a 15 uh, crit rest. The 15 crit rest is from the new uh, item that's been released some months ago, which is the Possessed Hammer. The Possessed Hammer uh, gives you 15 crit rest, and it's normally used on the fire builds. Why? Because it's a fire, a fire, fire item, as I said. And that's another uh, uh, input that you can get to know that they are playing fire. On the second char bar that I'm showing you guys right now, we have Anilio. Uh, as you can see, he has a lot of fire res. That's why I'm showing this screenshot. He has no strength res, but it doesn't mean he is uh, strength, for example. Uh, you can see that he has another input that will automatically tell you if, if he's playing fire or not, which is the minus 30 crit res. The minus 30 crit res is one of the most important things on the fire res, on the fire builds, I'm sorry, because will, uh, it will tell you that someone is using the ring, ringeus. Ringeus gives you minus 30 crit res, and that will automatically uh, tell you that this heliotrope is using uh, a ringeus, and therefore he is fire. The agility element. The agility mode is the easiest one to find out. It's very simple to find out if your enemy is playing agility mode or if someone is playing an agility mode because normally it starts off with a huge amount of lock. Uh, if it has above uh, over 90 lock, it's probably an agility mode. Um, other than that, uh, the agility modes also uh, have a low air rest. So Normally, if someone is playing agility, they usually have uh, uh, some struggle to get uh, air res. You don't see a lot of agility modes with 50% air res, for example. That's just a small example. And also, another small thing that we will not uh, that I didn't put on the screen is agility gives a pushback res. So high lock, pushback res, and low agi res. It's for sure an agility mode. And to end it off, another thing that the agility modes give, which is super nice, is a lot of vitality as well. AG items give you a lot of vitality and that will help you just find out even more easy and that's why I said and I say to myself that agility mode is without a doubt the easiest one to find out uh, in the char bar. The strength element. The strength builds are a little bit more harder to identify but we can start with the lock um, aspect as well. In the strength builds, I can divide the lock in two parts. The ranged strength builds will have lower lock and the melee uh, strength builds will have medium lock. Uh, that's something you will realize because the melee uh, strength builds will share other items that uh, don't reduce the lock as much. Uh, but even the melee uh, strength builds can have a low lock, but in general the melee strength builds will have higher lock because it will uh, use 
other items uh, like for example amateur that gives you lock and instead of cat's eye it depends and the cat's eye as i was going to say reduces your lock and cat's eye is more for range doesn't mean that range cannot have a uh, lock as well with a pandemonium bow but in general ranged builds have low lock and uh, cc builds might have a medium lock next up we go to the more important part of the strength builds and what it's most used to identify uh, the, if it, someone is playing a strength build which is the fixed res this is super easy if you want to identify if someone is playing a strength builds uh, I'll, I'll name some items to, to give you guys some basis and the first item is uh, the shabby shoes uh, the shabby shoes they have 12 fixed res and if someone is playing a melee strength, uh, a melee strength build they will have 12 strength res uh, and that will identify you that they are playing strength and it's a melee strength build and then the other identifiable uh, build and the uh, fixed res it's the uh, Brucey, um, Brucey set which gives you a 15 uh, neutral um, uh, 50 neutral uh, fixed and 50 uh, air fixed uh, res and that will identify you uh, that someone is playing uh, strength uh, as well other than that we can pass on to the on to the last point which is again i'll, I'll always mention, mention vitality because it can make some difference even though it's not the most important point in the builds it's a point that can help you identify but it's not the most important point i would say the most important point is the point that i play that i say in between or, or something like that even though that fire and agility are much more easy to to identify and that it's strength in strength builds like kind of the lock the melee builds will have um a lot of vitality and the, the the range builds will not have a lot of vitality because the range builds are normally paired up with dragon helmet and dragon helmet does not give you a lot of vitality so if you see someone with solid res but the low vitality is probably strength and distance and don't forget the fixed reses of course uh, and the low lock and if you see someone with medium lock and high vitality and the shabby shoes fixed res is 100 percent playing strength as well the chance element the chance builds are the hardest ones to identify why because the chance build doesn't really have the same things as the other builds that can be identifiable they are super flexible the res are not the same and there's not a certain characteristic that pops out but i try to bring you guys some of the main three that can be uh, helpful for you so the first one is initiative if you see a character that starts first it can be a good sign that he's playing a chance mode and another thing that can even help you the most is that if he starts first and uh, people are playing uh, initiative pets like scrot or no one is playing initiative pets and he starts first it can be a sign but it's not a really really good sign to follow because it can it can happen to to every single uh, every single one if they use uh, certain items but it's a, a thing that chance sets give a lot which is uh, the initiative the second main thing is a thing that you can also follow which is the uh, fixed res there are belts uh, that give fixed res the main one that most of people use is without a doubt the uh, uh, fixed um, a glacial belt that gives you neutral and warrior res uh, which you can easily identify to know if someone is playing that there's also some uh, stuff like the deep sea mask that gives you a strength uh, a fixed res and that is the easiest way to identify uh, the chance uh, sets and to end it all we have something that the chance sets are known for which is the ap parry and the mp parry that comes from the Ely stuff the Ely sets are used in chance, they give some MP res because you get agility, you get MP, MP parry from the shield as well. And that is another big, big, big impact in finding out the sets. Uh, I hope this helped you guys because it's not easy, as I said, identifying the chance sets. The other ones are a bit more easy, but I did my best and, my best and I have a little disclaimer is that not everything here is like 100% sure. It's some basis that can help you identify. But it doesn't mean that if you follow step by step, it will help you 100% identify. Everything comes with good experience. The more you play, the more you'll find out. And I hope it helps you guys have some fun with your friends to identify. They give you a char bar and you identify it. 
and it also helps you get more knowledge to the game and to the PvP, makes you a better player. And that's the goal on, of my channel. And I'll see you guys for a while. I'll try to keep posting as much video as possible with as much quality as possible. And thank you all for your support. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye bye.